Welcome back to Tic Tac Doe, y'all. And Andrew won that jackpot of $45,000. So the jackpot is reset it back to $25,000. Hopefully the prize package will come to him or will come to this opponent, Eric Lima. How you doing, Eric? Fine, Rocky. Well, Eric, are you ready to do Tic Tac Doe? I think he said he's ready. All right, guys. Here are the nine. Yes. All right. Here are the nine categories we're going to be doing in game two. We have fun facts. Double or nothing. 1970s TV. All about Nick. No vowel musicians. Jump in category. Spelling B. The $10,000 question and heads or tails. Andrew, where would you like to start now? Uh, let's go to the center box with no valid decisions. It's going to be a two-part uh, question, and you will get that extra time. I will type them both in. Look at the chat box, please. That's the first one and the last one. All right, your question. Um, the first one, um, Andrew, in 1997, this Novell musician released the song, I'll Be Missing You. Name him. And the second one, this Nova musician wrote the music for the stage version of Billy Elliot. Name him. Here's your time to think about both of them. Right, okay, Andrew, which part you want to answer first? Uh, I'm going to start with the second one. The second one. This Nova musician wrote the music for the stage version of Billy Elliot. Name him. I believe it's Elton, Elton John. That is right. And for the center box, in 1997, this Novell musician released the song, I'll Be Missing You. Name him. Can I see, can I see it on the chat, please? Yeah, sure you can. Um... Can you repeat the first question, please? In 1997, this no vow musician released the song, I'll Be Missing You. Name him. Uh, I'm going to take a wild shot and say live. Live is wrong. I'm sorry. It's love. L-O-V-E. Love. Oh. Love. Missed that vow there. So nothing is added to the pot, and we shuffle. Good try. All right, Eric. Um, let's try uh, 1970s TV, lower left, please. You're going 1970s TV. Your question. What 1970s TV sitcom was inspired by and loosely based on the American singing group, The Cow Sills? Is it A, The Beverly Hillbillies, B, Good Times, C, Happy Days, or D, The Portrait Family? That's the right answer. Good job. $2,000 is in the pot. Let's shuffle it. Andrew. I'll go with fun facts, please. Going fun facts. Your question on the fun facts. These are things that are written on Facebook news that you may see on Facebook. Here it is. Approximately... What percentage of male rhinoceros died defending their territories from other male rhinos? Again, approximately what percentage of male rhinoceroses died defending their territories from other male rhinos? Is it A, 40%, B, 50%, C, 20%, or D, 30%? Uh, Twenty? No, 20% is wrong. The answer was 50%. 50%. Okay, we shuffle. All right, Eric. I was trying to 
1970s uh, TV again, Sec uh, left center. Second time in the category, your question on 1970s TV. What TV show won Emmy Awards for Outstanding Comedy Series? Again, what TV show won Emmy Awards for Outstanding Comedy Series three years in a row from 1975 to 1977? Is it A, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, B, All in the Family, C, The Bob Newhart Show, or D, The Jeffersons? Um, I'm going to try The Mary Tyler Moore Show. That is the right answer. Good job. $4,000 is in the pot. We shuffle it. Andrew. No, no, it's for the block. All right, take a look at this one. Only got to deal with one this time. And here's your question. What Novell country music artist was married briefly to actress Renee Zellweger? Again, what Novell country music artist was, was married briefly to actress Renee Zellweger? Kenny Chesley! You got the block! Good job! $6,000 is in the pie we shuffle. Eric. CB in the center, please. He loves that category. Two-part question, and we will give you the extra time, okay? Here it is. It's a repeat. Make sure. Stand by, y'all. Okay, this is not the same thing. Okay, here we go. Okay, what TV sitcom from the 70s featured a widowed mother and her five children who embark on a music career? Is it A, The Wannabes, B, The Archie Show, C, The Partridge Family, or D, The California Dreams? That's the first one. And the second one, what, telev what television sitcom starred Gabe Kaplan as a wise cracking teacher and a young John Travolta as a cocky sweat hog. Is it A, my so called life? B, Degrassi Junior High? C, Welcome Back Cotter? Or D, Saved by the Bell? Here's the time to think about both of them. Okay, which part you want to answer first, Eric? Answer the first one. All right, what TV sitcom from the 70s featured a widow mother and her five children who embark on a music career? Is A, The Wannabes, B, The Archie Show, C, The Partridge Family, or D, California Dreams? Wait. Say it again. Wait. Repeat it again. Partridge Family. Right. This is a different question, but the same answer. That is right. Now, for the center box, what television sitcom starred Gabe Kaplan as a wise-cracking teacher and a young John Travolta as a cocky sweat hog? Is it A, My So-Called Life, B, Degrassi Junior High, C, Welcome Back Cotter, or D, Saved by the Bell? Welcome back, Carter. You got the box. Good job. We have $9,000 in the pot and we shuffle. Andrew. I'll go with the $10,000 question for the block. With the $10,000 question for the block, this will make the pot $19,000 if you're right. Good luck to you. What is the first name of Fidel Castro's brother who became Cuba's acting president when Fidel fell ill? Again, what is the first name of Fidel Castro's brother who became Cuba's acting president when Fidel fell ill? I believe it's Raul. Nicely done! Good job! $19,000 is in the pot. We shuffle it. All right, Eric. Oh, I got to go for 
spelling B for the win. Get this question right on spelling B. It'll be Tic Tac Doe, $21,000, and you'll be the new champion, okay, Eric? Here it is. This apple is nutritious for Tic Tac Doe and $21,000. Spell the word nutritious. You can spell it on the chat screen because you are blurry. Um, you can type it on chat screen too if you want to. Okay, let me try that. Nutrition. N U T R I T I O U S. It's Tic Tac Doe. Good job, Eric. Nicely done, nicely done. $21,000 for you, Eric. And you're going to go ahead against that dragon shortly. Well, Andrew, I don't think that's total broke your record there. But you did win $98,629 in this run, okay? Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. No problem. And, uh, Eric, you ready to go after that dragon? I am. Let's do the beat the dragon game. Here we go. All right, Eric, you're the new champion. Uh, Justin, what prize is he in for this time? Yeah, yeah, prizes. Computer Kelly with that person for computer. It's the Montreal. Hot dog. Then go dinnerware. Another one. A revival one. Come here. Come here, thanks, sir. All right, thank you, Justin. Now you managed to get that chicken tackle in your picks now, uh, Eric. is a $25,000 bonus. During your first two picks is a $50,000 bonus that you have a shiny new car. Let's cover up that board. If you please, Eric. Number nine. Let's see what's behind number nine. $4,000. Okay, stop or go. He's going to number seven. Let's see what's buying number seven. There's the tick. Find the tack and we give you a $25,000 bonus and you have a shiny new car. What's your number? Six. Six. If a tack is buying number six, you have a $25,000 bonus and you have a shiny new car. Let's see. No. Well... Let's see where that tack was. Nine, four. Two. Five. Five. So, uh, that means that the jackpot goes up to $30,000 or um, $60,000 if it happens on the first two picks. We're going to allow Justin to play again. This will be the last game tonight. This uh, We'll be right back after this. Stick with us. Like I said, guys, be careful. Or you can be attacked by me. Because I did run me. <laughs>